to just craft a little bit with you all. Um, hopefully we can get this camera not to be so jiggly. And right now what I'm doing is going to seal in this image. I stamped it out with some different colors from Ranger. Um, and then I stamped this using a stampability stamp and I used the gelato, colored it in, and now I'm going to seal it. Hello, Crafty Kitty. How are you today? I hope your Thursday is starting off wonderful. And so now I'm just going over. Good morning, Liz. How are you today? I am just sealing this in. This is not the project. That's good to hear. I'm glad that you're doing well. But I just want to go ahead and seal this in while I was um, waiting on people to come in. Good morning, Joyce. How are you today? It's Thursday and I get to escape from my house. Oh, great. Maybe we could meet up and go shopping one day soon. I'm going to go to Ikea today, I think. I want to get a cart. My craft situation is driving me crazy. That is so cool. I was just thinking about you, actually. <laughs> Yeah, it rained yesterday, um, so they need to finish the repairs today and tomorrow, so I'm not supposed to have my vehicle in the driveway, and they've had me hostage this whole entire week. Ikea is in Round Rock. It's like an hour away, I think, depending on how you drive, and since I drive like an old lady, let everyone I know tell it. It's probably going to be like an hour and a half. Um, this right here, I'm not sure if y'all can see it. No, you can't see it. This camera, excuse the camera if it falls, is crazy right now. Um, yeah, that is the closest one. Um, to my knowledge, I don't know of any other ones close by. And then it's one in Houston if you want to drive to Houston. Um, I would love to go to the one in Houston because I can visit my family, but... I will not be able to make it to Houston today or tomorrow. Um, I hope you all are doing great. And you're, I'm just trying to seal this in and we'll get started on the actual project. Yeah, um, it's, one in, it's one in Round Rock, um, which is, I think it's about an hour away. Um... What I just normally do is, like, when people post things that they have on their Ikea shelf or what, I just try to find it. When I was in Mississippi, it was not one close by at all, which kind of sucked. But it was good because when I needed an Ikea art, I would just ask my aunt and she would bring it to me. Like, she brought me some lamps and some holders. Uh... Oh, it's one north of Austin. Oh, I don't. Um, I don't know. I've never, I've never been out of the city of San Antonio, besides to go to Houston. I never like visit other spots, and when for work I um, had to go to Corpus Christi. But other than that, I don't really leave out of San Antonio. My knee, Joyce. Um, we'll talk about that offline. Um, Ruth Inkwell. Um, chewed me up and spit me out about my knee. <laughs> I will probably end up going to the doctor um, very soon. Let's just put it like that. Uh, yep. So, let me rinse this off. Uh, another one's coming for me already. Liz, really? I haven't even got in good on it. Okay. Well, I'll have to check that one out. Is it Round Rock? I think it's Round Rock. Where is that? I don't know, though. I think it is. I think it is. Because that's like an hour away, right? Austin is an hour away from us. So I think that's where it's at. Anyway, let's go ahead and play. Oh, great. I'm going to have to see if I can't delete that comment. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, let me get the stuff. I have everything ready to go. 
Oh, not you too. Oh my goodness. Listen, we are here to craft, okay? Not to tell me to go to the doctor. Okay, Austin is our way. That's good. I think round I think it's in Round Rock. The just in case you're all wondering about this knee, okay? <laughs> I had the same exact thing happen last time. I'm doing everything that they told me to do last time and they could not find out anything. It took about two weeks for it to go away. So the only thing, the only difference is I am ambulating a lot more up and down than I was last year. And I'm a lot heavier than I was last year when it happened. Um, so... Hi, Jackie. Yep, I'm going to come on real quick. It won't be that long. Um, I just wanted to come on. I got some inspiration. I was doing some other things and making, trying to make a few videos and just got some inspiration. And so I just thought we could play together for a little bit. Um, you're probably on your way to work. No. See, and that's the thing. So I think because I am not where I was... I'm not gonna leave yet, Jack. I just I just started. I just started. Um, it's taking a little bit longer to recover, so I'm just trying to give it some time because I've had this knee issue for a long, 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 long time, at least ten years now. So has it been ten years? Maybe eight, eight years now. So I know what they're gonna give me. They're gonna give me some motion or anti-inflammatory, and they're gonna tell me to elevate it put some ice on it and stay off of it. You can't do that with a two year old. Well, I can't do that with a two year old. Um, he is a little bit more self-sufficient, but not as much as he would be if he were a five year old, you know? So what we're going to use today is we're going to use this beautiful, I don't know what this is. What is this called? Uh, 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 yeah, we're going to use that. And we're going to stamp it out. Hopefully it fits. I got this in a D-stash. So I'm not sure what it was. Where it's from. I think I don't even want to lie and say what company. Because I don't know. Um, a floor? No, not a floor. I was thinking an edge. An edge? Um, I don't know. But anyway, I saw it. And I pulled it out because I was like. Yeah, it's super like pulley, so I don't want to damage it. Thank you so much. I uh, I want to try this out. And so what I'm doing is nothing fancy. I'm sure some other people have did this before in the past. But is it even going to fit on this little stamp block? Oh, yeah, it fits. Oh, I put it on backwards. Uh-oh. A border. Thank you so much. Someone, someone in here has some craft English because I apparently do not. Dang it. A border. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know. But see, it sticks down really nicely and I'm going to be applying some pressure. Yeah, thank you, Jackie, because I was going to say something else. Okay, so the one thing I do want to share with you all is that when I use these colors, I use Vibrant Fuchsia, Forget Me Not, and then I use this one, which is so cute, but it just doesn't go on. Yeah, it is early. <laughs> Vibrant Chartreuse. I didn't like how this one came out because you see how it says waterproof? Okay. Um, I'll, be, I'll still be here. It ran, it ran, it ran, so I didn't like it at all. So I won't be using that color today. But I am going to probably use the black and white. I mean the black and white. You haven't had your coffee yet. I don't drink coffee. And I haven't had anything to eat yet. But the little roommate is asleep. Nicholas is at the door saying, feed me. Um, I had an early night last night. But I didn't... <laughs> yeah, I couldn't think of border. That's horrible. That is horrible. So what I'm going to try to do is um, excuse the camera shaking if it shakes too much for you. I do apologize. The way I have my uh, thing set up is... Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Already. Already coming for me. Well, I don't drink coffee, okay? I do drink those cappuccino, not cappuccinos, the frappes from uh uh what is it? McDonald's. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jackie. You know, I, I want to make you something kind of spooky. I had, I'm just going to tell you right now. Remember, I told you I was going to make something. Well, my boyfriend likes Walking Dead, too. So I had bought some zombie pattern. And I just haven't got a chance to dig it out and make it. But I'll send you some coffee. Some Frappuccino. Yeah, you know, the, the things that... McDonald's. You know, the caramel frappes and things like that. Um... I like those because it tastes like ice cream. Yay, ice cream. All right, so now what we're going to do is stand up. Yeah, I'll send you some coffee, girl. I just got to figure out where that thing is because I still got to make it for him. And Father's Day is coming up, and so it's his birthday. So I have to figure that out. And I love... You haven't had a frappe? It's so good. They're so delicious. If you like ice cream, if you like coffee, you know, you can't even taste the coffee. It tastes like, I don't know, it's just good. Ah, oh, look, it messed up, but that's okay because it's not a big deal. Happy accidents. I love ice cream. And, you know, I have decided that I'm not going to be too concerned about the things that I like. Um... You can just call her Honey Badger if you like. Her name is Liz, though. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, you know, I am going, I am, I do want to not be so chunky, thick, but I'm not going to beat myself up all the time when I do something I'm not very fond of. When it comes to my eating habits. Because I think I eat pretty good except for chips. I'm zombie in love with you. No. It's not going to even be like that ma'am at all. <laughs> See I don't even go to Dunkin Donuts. Because I'm not into coffee. At all. At all. But I do like that. Like I went to Starbucks with a friend. And they are like Starbucks. They had those little cards and everything. And I was just like hmm. Yep don't know what to get. So I didn't get anything. I ended up getting like a sandwich. Welcome back. Alrighty. So this is the project. Um, because this is canvas and I don't know if that will go in there that great. So I don't know. Yay. You're welcome. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to leave it just like that. And I want to put, I was thinking about putting this little rose in the center, but we're going to leave that out. I'm going to leave that out and I'll clean my stamps after the live stream. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm not sure if you've seen these at Michael's, but they have these at Michael's and they are called handmade Charlotte kits, but they're made by Fabrica. So I made a video already. So you, this is like the prequel, I guess, to that video. And then you'll be able to see the other one. I haven't uploaded it yet. And that's not today's crater either. So you're going to get crater. You're going to get a live stream. And then you're going to get an oldie video. So now, what, you know, since you all are here, what colors would you like? I'm thinking I can do a little bit of pink. And some green. A little bit of green right here. Um, yep. Yeah, so I think you get like three videos today. I think. I'm not too sure um so we're gonna try these pink a little bit of pink you want orange okay orange i think that's red purple of course you want purple of course i don't have purple so sad 
We have dark blue. I'll show you what colors they have. I guess I could rub red and blue together and make purple, but I'm not that good. So we're going to use pink. Light blue, some green. I really want to use Jallo, but I won't. I won't. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Um, <laughs> yep. She, she, you knew it. Okay, so now what I learned from this, and I haven't used it, watched the video in a while, is that this is clear. I'm not sure if this is going to be good or not, but you can see it's kind of clear. Is that I'm going to just rub it a little bit, just like that. Just where I want it to be. And I'm not upset at that boo-boo. It's okay. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take some of this. This is kind of like cheater. No, these are gel pens. They're called Moon Jellies Gel Crayons. Um... These were $4, and I got these a while back at Marshall's. But you can go to Michael's and get them as well um, in a kid's section. Or you can go to the big people section, adult section, and get them. And they cost about $8, but if you use your coupon, you should be fine. Gonna take some blue. Rubbing together makes teal. Um, so what I'll do for some of you purple lovers is I'll try and do a little bit of abstract thinking here, and I will get the red out and see if that works. You know, I think that gelatos cost a lot of money. A lot of money. Um, so, these work just as well from what I understand. I'm not sure because I don't, I don't think I own any gelatos. And if I do, I don't know what they are. So, these are just like that. Michaels does have some um, crayons. Very Crafty, didn't you get these before? Okay, so that's a little bit too dark, but we're going to see. All right, so now all I'm going to do now is take my little spritzer and spritz it. Okay, and... Going to get a sponge out, a few sponges, and these are the Wonder Wedges that I picked up from, oh my goodness, where did I pick these up from? Tuesday morning. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I hear hot dog, I think of no, see, I, you know, I watch, and I said this in the video, I watched, um, I can't even think her name right now. The lady from Scrapbooking Made Simple when I was all on that, on that kick, that bandwagon of getting stuff in a timely manner. And she showed how you use gelatos. And I was just like, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll definitely um, try those. But then, no, I just used this. So now I'm just going to take a sponge and I'm going to rub it in and pretend like I've done some fancy dancy watercoloring. And since we're doing pink first, we're going to go over here and mess around with this pink. All right. And the same thing in here. I probably will use yellow at the end to do my background, just so you all know. So, Berry Crafty was right. I probably will use yellow because I like yellow right now. All right. Yeah, the Mickey Mouse song. Exactly. Um, I wouldn't mind. Well, I don't. Does jo um, 
Jackie does Nathan sell turkey dogs because I don't eat beef or pork. So that would kind of suck for me if I went to Nathan's. I watched a documentary on hot dogs before. On the oranges of that. Yes. So this is a good cheater way in case you are not that great at watercoloring like myself. You take your gelatos down and you spritz them with some water. And you rub the colors in and there you go. Now this is not super vibrant only because I think I just sit there and let it dry some. And for some reason this ink is not taking well to the... Um, The canvas so it's running a little bit which I don't really like and maybe I just spray too much water I don't know about that that won't be too good or safe Ooh, I spritzed in the wrong spot so tell me what your plans are please today I think once we finish this live stream I am going to go. Another thing that you can do to condition your canvas to not make it be a mess like it's running a little bit is you can definitely, you see how the ink is picking up? You can definitely put some gesso down to condition your thing. And this came from the Dollar Tree. That's fine. I need I need you to do something for me anyway. Very crafty. Bonet. Um, so you can definitely condition this once it's over. You know, to start it off. But I'm okay with it. I am going to go back in with these colors and try to make them a little bit deeper. And see if that works. And it says that these are good for blending. So we're about to find out and see. Um... I have a few more days before Crater is over. Can you all believe that? I'm super excited. I always get really happy when Crater's almost over because I feel like I can go back to normal crafting lifestyle. But at the same time, I am going to be supporting Jan's um, crazy life. She's going to be doing May. You got a house mouse step on Wish. I got a... I don't go on wish because i don't like the shipping and handling but if you got a house mouse on wish i might have to go and check that out so i'm just going back in here to make it a little bit darker and see how that works out oh yeah that's cool yeah challenges are fun i will probably not do any mail out challenges um this year right away um if I can do the challenge and keep the project at home, that would be fine. I feel like I don't have all of my stuff available. And I'm going to use yellow in case you're wondering. That is awesome, Bear Crafting. Oh, somebody granted you a wish. Oh, I was like, oh. Let me find House Mouse on Wish, the Wish app. I got to go. But, okay, thank you. You clarified that. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to try and rub it in more. And it's still, you know, it's not as dark as I want it to be. These are kids' color, so mm, take that with the grain of salt that I just gave it to you. And you can decide. And then we're just going to smear this in some. See, this one doesn't look anything like that one. Uh -oh. You see how this one looks totally different? That is so cool, Jackie. That is so awesome. Um, yeah. I would never give you any house mouse stamps because I'm selfish like that. I need all the house mouse to myself. So matter of fact, when you get those house mouse, hi Ruth, how are you today? When you get your house mouse stamps, just go ahead and stamp out those images and mail them to me, okay? Because, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I think 
you know, I think I may have an extra one. You should let me know which ones you have, and I may be able to gift you one as well. <laughs> the thing about house mouse is they're so expensive. They're so expensive. Super duper expensive. But if it's something you like, you're going to spend the money on it, right? Thank you. Hi. Hi, Isabel. How are you today? Hi, C's Vintage Gifts and More. I can't remember your name, and I bought something from you in a D-stash, and I can't remember your name. That's horrible. So I'm just going to, I think that these pink roses are not doing that great for me. I'm going to use red now, and I do want to do something in the middle, so let me know what you think. And we can do, are you asking me? I'm okay if you're asking me. Um, Ruth is in the building, so Connie. Thank you, Connie. So I can't really tell you how I feel right now because she'll get me. <laughs> oh, it looks okay? Y'all think it look okay? Okay. So I, I, I do want to go back in with the green, though. <laughs> I do want to go to... House Mouse is a stamp. Let me see. You know I have one close by. I think I do. It's Don't get hooked on them because they're expensive. And some of them are quote-unquote vintage. So they're a lot older than the newer ones that are coming out. And Tuesday morning has some right now. So, you know, you can definitely check them, check, check out, check them out and see. And I don't have one close by. Can you believe that? I don't have my favorite... Well, Stampendas, I think, is a great company. I like their stamps. So, I don't... Mm, I, I don't have one close by. I don't even... Oh, wait, but I have a project close by. Yay, for projects. Left on your crafty table. Mm, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Here you go. So these are house mouse stamps and they have like little names like they, I don't know what these are named, but they have different names like Maxwell Mug, Mud Pie, uh, Amanda, different names like that. So these are, um, don't be jealous, Jackie, you would be broke, 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 broke. Tuesday morning likes to put their hands in your pockets, your bank account and everything. They want all your money. Yeah, the mice are doing like human human type things. I don't know if it's any other brand of stamps that um has something similar to that. I'm not even sure. Yeah, Tuesday morning is like Girl Scout cookies, you know. You know they're bad for the waistline, but you have to have them. <laughs> that's how I look at Tuesday morning and I have been going there recently and not buying anything um, which is good for me exactly um, I haven't seen anything that I liked I saw something but I didn't want to get it and I kind of regret it now because I may want it I may need to use it but I'll be okay. The one thing I'll tell you about Tuesday mornings, they do have discounted items. Like you can find things that are kind of retired, but they have it. And they sell name brand things. So Tuesday morning, you know, it's a pretty decent store. But I think some of the prices are a little bit too much. It is... A mix between Big Lots and probably TJ Maxx, but they sell, they have Marshall prices. So if you know what I'm talking about in that regard, then you can, that's what it is. Oh, Amy Tangerine, huh? That's going to be cool. And that should be this weekend because they, I think it's the last. Sunday of the month. 
So that's pretty cool. All right, Jackie, be safe. We will see you soon and I will chat with you later, ma'am. All right, ladies. So you too, Jackie, don't work too hard. Whatever you do, don't let the people drive you crazy. And don't drive people crazy either. 518? Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, probably 518, really? You know, I got I picked up a glass mat from Michaels. It was on sale and they had the coupon. And I was like, yes. Because you know, I'm not. Even though Tim Holtz can sell ice to Eskimos, I'm not buying that Tim Holtz glass mat. Mm -mm. I'm not. I refuse to buy it. I'm not going to even ask for that for any occasions because I can't. I can't. All right. So what do you all think? What are you thinking? I think I'm going to do blue in the middle because it needs a different color. Unless you think of something else. Can think of something else. All right. So I'm going to use this. Thank you so much. I'm going to use this. I don't know what color this is going to be, but it looks clear. Oh, it's like neon. Hmm. That's going to be interesting. Jackie, do you live in Jersey and go to New York? Or do you live in New York and go to Jersey? Oh, that's a really good deal. A really, really good deal. Yeah, I um, I haven't pulled out the glass mat yet because this is not going to be my permanent workstation, my permanent crafty location. I want to craft in another spot. So I'm just kind of renting this space okay you live in Bronx I'm working Manhattan awesome all I know about New York is the city so <laughs> that's all I know I used to take the train there when I lived in Maryland you see I keep missing this spot you can't really tell but it's it's blank so let me go ahead and put some green in there and I guess we can try another one we can do another canvas. Uh, oh, no, I messed that up. Mm. Um, as far as me living here now, it's hot. <laughs> I am originally from Houston, so, you know, I'm, I'm home. And I, I'm, I'm glad to be home. It's a little bit boring because I don't have any crafty friends. And my little one is too little to like take him and leave him with people, which I wouldn't do or take him anywhere. But hopefully Crafty Kitty and I can hang out because she lives in San Antonio as well. So it would be cool to um, craft with people. Before I had him, I used to be in a crochet group. A, a knitting crochet group and we would do meetups so if you never heard of meetup.com it's not a dating site you can meet people um you can meet people and hang out they have like similar likes things to you like i went to new york yeah in texas but not san antonio not everybody lives in san antonio um it's a lot of crafty people in texas that i have met it was this one lady who lives like right down the street from me and i mess i i text her in a chat and i was like hey you live in san antonio blah 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 and she ignored me so i was like okay not everybody wants to hang out either so that's fine too thank you so much um all right so we're gonna do another one i guess because why not these do come from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> these do come from the Dollar Tree, these canvases. 
Here's the skew in case you're interested. She did list, and you know what? That's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, not every, you know, you haven't seen them. You have to, um, where are these at? They are with, <laughs> Liz always cracking jokes on me. Um, they are with the stenciling stuff, I think. I just grabbed a few. I try not to get everything. Here, Jackie. Type in this number right here, and you can see if they, you can buy them. I think this is pretty good. 50 cents for that. I think that's a, a good deal. Yeah. They definitely do, Connie. I think because, you know, some people, some YouTubers, <laughs> your Dollar Tree is cheap. Some people that are YouTubers don't want to get in competition with other people that are local um, to them, I think. So that could be the problem in itself. I do want to let y'all know if my little roommate wakes up and comes to the studio, I will be getting off, just so you know. <laughs> um, because he's going to try and get on the camera and start talking to y'all. But until then, we can play together. I'm going to go ahead and seal this up. And I'm just using some Mod Podge. And I... um unfortunately took the little metal piece off that little gray piece and so um let's see do i want to do anything else to it no i think we're good you know what i found out about the dollar tree is that you have to unfortunately go there often and you have to check every aisle because sometimes where you think of item would be like in the crafting, it's not, it's not going to be there. Um, like, you know, when everybody's going crazy over those owls, I had one to get some for Sylvia and send them to her. <laughs> and I couldn't find them because they weren't in the lotion section. They were at the front register area so that's how i found them so you just have to kind of go frequently even if you don't you don't have to go to the store and buy stuff i know that's easier said than done all right jackie thank you so much for hanging out i really appreciate it i hope you have an awesome amazing day at work and then when you get off i hope you get to craft a lot that's always the goal. The end goal is crafting. You go to work to come home and craft. Thanks, Connie. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate that. I will not be on here much longer myself. Joyce, if you see stuff that you need... That you feel like you can't live without at the Dollar Tree. Just let me know. We live fairly close enough that I can put it in the mail. Once I figure out how to get out of my neighborhood. They're doing construction and it's a mess. A mess. All over the place. A mess. I really don't like that I made a boo-boo there, but happy accidents happen. So it's okay. I'm just sealing this in. <laughs> if you all have any ideas of what you want to see next, you want to go to Houston in the summer? I went online to see about the... Um, the expo. You know, registration starts in May for August. I really don't care to go to Houston to participate in anything besides family visits. You want to see a junk journal, Liz? Really? Really? 
You got it, ma'am. You got it. I will be doing a junk journal after I harass the wizard about a thousand more times. Junk journal. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. I will not be accepting any more challenges from you until you make one and then I'll make one now how about that challenging me all right so that is complete I do love how it's turning out put it back in my cup I never saw you make one and that was an album it's not the same man <gasps> yep I did that so, so far we've made this one right here, which is super cool. Mm -hmm. Two albums. <laughs> and this, which I really, 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 really like. I'm not sure if it, these colors just are different in regards to this colors, but I like it just the same. Something plain and simple, fun to play with. All right, so again, <laughs> yeah, it does. This is what we're going to be using. A trinket exchange. Um, who's on vacation? That's what I need to know. Mm. Use the shaking, everyone. A trinket box exchange. Oh, you mean like those embellishment boxes that they're doing right now? That would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool to do. Um, but just with trinkets, not have to embellish it and decorate it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Cause you know I kind of suck at that portion. So again, we're gonna we're gonna do this, and what I think I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to just Mm, mist it first with just some plain water and wipe it and maybe that soot that appears to be on there will come off and I'm just going to wipe it with a baby wipe and see if that will work a little bit better for me hopefully it does <laughs> I hope your thirsty is going as well as mine is my day started off great we woke up at early because my little roommate thought that he heard his father coming in the house so yeah um let's see let's see what what kind of stamps would you like to see used because that's what we're doing we're stamping on canvas that's the title of the video i believe so <laughs> That's okay. YouTube is, you know, crazy. So we're going to use this one. Yeah, that's what I was about to do. We're going to do this one um, because, you know, I like cameras. And I'm going to do different colors just so you know. <gasps> no, 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 no. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> no comment on that censorship um, statement I'm just going to surprise you with the colors that we use the different things that we use and then we'll go from there one of my favorite stamps I'm about to use you all know that I have a fondness for Stampendous and Inka Dinka Do for whatever reason those stamps just call my name as well as Prima. I mean, I love Prima stamps too, but um, I don't know where to get them from. Hello, ma'am. How are you today? Jimmy Lonnie Creations. I hope you're doing awesome.
Yay! I'm here for it. Here for it all. Gonna try this vibrant fuchsia once more. What have y'all been up to? Like, okay, so some of you are crafting. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Love it. I'm going to try to do a second generation stamp with this one. You know, um, the Dollar Tree has this stamp, not this stamp, but they have butterflies and it's like watercolor. And so I will be trying to copycat that project. I'm not sure if it's going to be a crater or not, but I will be trying to copycat that project. You know, I said in another video that I was not always fond of colored ink, but sometimes you got to go back on your word. Sometimes you got to go back on your word because this right here is a beautiful color, especially when you stamp it out. Um, it just looks so pretty that you can't help but want to use it. Even this right here, this Vivid Chartreuse, I like that one. Hey! How's your day going? So you gave your girl some crafts, and now what are they doing? They're crafting away. That's cool. All right, Joyce. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. I am looking for another stamp. And I just have random stamps on my desk because I just like to look at the stamps and grab motivation and inspiration from them. So that's what I do. And I've been trying to catalog my property a little bit better than in the past. Well, I just kind of had it there. I want to make sure that I don't double or triple buy things anymore. Because that happens too. Um, most of the stamps that I've been using, with the exception of this one that I'm about to use right now, I have in the past. So I'm not sure how it's going to stamp out. Oh, yeah, that's cool. First stickers, that's awesome. I like stickers, but I don't use them that often. So I am definitely all about trying to use up your, your, your stickers when you can find something to use with them. Everybody got their coffee now? Your, your tea and crumpets? Someone had sent me a message and it was like, did you do this? And I was like, what are you talking about? And she said, I haven't had my coffee yet. Uh, you know, sticker challenge coming soon. <laughs> beautiful, 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 beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So now let's see. I have one more butterfly stamp, but I want to try... And use something else besides the butterfly. I agree. 100%. 100%. I definitely agree. I am going to reuse this one. Just wiping it off. <laughs> yeah yeah butterflies no one's upset when you pull out a butterfly stamp that's definitely true you're like oh I'm going to use butterflies they're like yep yeah, go ahead I can't wait to see this yeah you do um, like ranger I like it too. I was afraid to use it before because I was just like, hmm, no. Actually, the archival ink, I, I love the Ranger archival ink more so than any inks that I've tried before. You know, I had that Martha Stewart um, a, a session at one point and then I stopped using her because I 
started using Ranger, and I was just much more excited about that than any of the other colors. I'm not afraid to stain my stamps, okay? I just don't want to stain them, but I'm okay with it because, look, it's already stained any more. Yeah, Ranger. Ranger will definitely um, leave your stamps looking, but I think that Ruth's Inkwell sent me some stamp cleaner stuff that I'm going to use. I'm going to actually do a video on that, and I think it will come, most of it will come off with that cleaner stuff that she gave me. I'm going to restamp this image right here, and I think I'm going to use black because, hmm, yeah, I'm going to use black. I like this. I don't even know if we need to color it. Like, do we need to color it? Mm, who knows? It's just really pretty. And these, you know, if you have kids and you're trying to figure out things to have them do, these came from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. They actually sell stamps at the Dollar Tree as well for a dollar. But if you're a crafter, you probably go to the Target Dollar Spot. You go to Joanne, you go to Walmart, and you can find some stamps. Really inexpensive. You don't have to buy the expensive stamps. Just because everyone has them, you don't need to have them. And, you know, you can create these projects. And they'll be good for Mother's Day, for Father's Day to have masculine things. You know, and a lot, of, I don't know anyone that does not like to display their child's creation somewhere in the house. On a refrigerator, you know, on their dashboard, in their car, at work. So these are good, inexpensive gifts to give to, you know, family members. So that's how that one looks. And now we're going to go ahead and use some gelatos to color this in. And I think this is enough. But I really feel like I want to stamp one more image in here. I'm not sure why I can't find my butterfly again. Oh, it's right here. This butterfly is by Memory Box and it's made in the USA. In case you're interested. This Hello Gorgeous I got from Hobby Lobby and it's American Craft. So if you see this again, it's probably not going to be $2. It's probably going to be more because they probably have this at Tuesday morning at some point. And then this is an Inka Dinka Do. Yep, that's what she sent me, a car cleaner, the PVA one. And some people were saying that it wasn't good to use but we'll see and I did not clean this one off yet I don't think but I'm going to stamp it with I think I'm going to stamp it right here with this green because we need that green in our life and have y'all thought about a color we can color this background in because I'm thinking yellow just so you all are aware I am thinking yellow but let me know what you think and we will be done with this live stream once we color that up. Unless you have any more suggestions on what you'd like to see me do in reference to ink and canvases. Um, I don't want to keep your time. It's early in the morning. I know some of you have to get your kids out the door. You got to get yourself out the door because you are working people. Um, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. If you use this... Um, you may need some type of something to help in the back because it does go a little bit hollow in the middle. Um, I don't think it will work with a stamping platform or a tool only because it is not paper. It is canvas. It is thicker than paper. But, you know, you can try it out. If you try it out, let me see. I don't know what that means. Where do you live? Um, if you go to any of the um, big box craft stores, they have different color inks. Especially if you live near Tuesday, not, not Tuesday morning, uh, Hobby Lobby. They have all kinds of different color. Oh, okay. Yep. 
nope, they don't stop a lot of people's lives, but I just don't want to get on here and just go ramble crazy. <laughs> because I can ramble, I talk a lot. Sometimes, and then sometimes I'm silent. But the times that I do talk a lot, you're like, oh, she's talking a lot. Okay, so what I want to try and do, I'm going to try this out, okay? I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm going to do... <laughs> I want to um, do a fade in. I'm not sure if that's going to work. I'm going to try and do blue here, a light blue, and then yellow. So I'm going to try to blend those in together. I'm not sure if that's going to be conducive for us. So let's see how that's going to work out. And I'm just trying it off camera really quickly first before I get over here and make a complete and total, you know, of myself. Uh, the only thing is I don't want it to blend too much and it turn green. because <laughs> you know yellow and blue make green okay nope we won't do that all right we're going to take this yellow and we are using just in case you forgot we're using the handmade kids creativity for kids and if you notice right here this is the manufacturer and let's see where it was made in China. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Alrighty. And so now I'm just going to <laughs> beat the devil out of it, huh? Just going to shade it all. Well, not all, but shade it in. Shade, shade, shade. And I am going to find another color to go with it. Just because I want to give it a little bit um, different different hue, I guess. And we're going to go with orange. Because I like orange secretly. Secretly orange is my thing. And hopefully I didn't put too much because I don't want it to turn red. <laughs> I am going to try to do that Bob Ross challenge though. But I have to do an easy painting because you know I'm not an artist at all. And now what we're going to do is we're going to mist it with some water. Did I get what online? Um, the gelatos. Oh, I'll tell you a little when I said thank you so much. I appreciate that. And so now I'm just going in a circular motion because this is what I learned from Mr. Hopes for blending. And something's definitely wrong with this one right here. It's like pinkish, purplish, which I love, 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 love that. And it did turn red. No, the gelatos I got from TJ Maxx, actually. But if you if you have a Michaels near you, you can just go into the kids section and they have those. Um, and they usually have them on sale, but I think they're six ninety nine at the in the kids section, so you can definitely use one of those coupons. And Michaels has a coupon just about every other day. All right. I think I added too much orange. <laughs> you didn't post it. Um, I didn't see it. I don't believe you. Yep. Yeah, um, I don't know if I'm going to Michael's today or not. I'm going to, I'm going to use another color and see if I can't make it a little bit lighter. I'm going to take this like neon yellow and see if I can lighten it up some. So we're going to see. If I go to Michael's today, I'll email you, Isabel, and let you know. Not sure. <laughs> if you believe that, 
You're very welcome, Isabel. I got some land to sell you. Some swamp land to sell you in the Everglades. All right, so it does bring, it does lighten it up some, which is great. Right here, you can tell the difference, which is really, really good for my mind because I didn't want it to be too orangey. I just didn't want it to be too yellow. This is so cool. Like, I definitely enjoy doing this, trying different things. You know, I was sitting here crafting, making birthday cards, and I was just like, I want to try that. And I tried it. And it worked out. It's working out for me the way I planned it to work out, which is awesome. All righty. And I'm just going to pick this up and do the edges. Because no one wants to see a picture with white edges, right? <laughs> and, you know, you can attach a little sticky on the back. And you can post it up or you can post it at the bottom. Thank you so much, Isabel. I really appreciate that. Definitely. Um, something fun and easy to do. It's very easy. You don't have not a lot of resources. You know, these gelatos I just pulled out because I didn't want to play around with the watercolor. <laughs> Dollar Tree opens at 8. Um, so, if you want to look for those... You said you live on the other side of town. The Dollar Tree that I got these from are the ones on Marbach. Are they? Yeah, I think it was Marbach I got them got them from. But you know, it's a Dollar Tree um by the Walmart by Fort Sam. And they have a larger selection. And it's one by the Hobby Lobby on um Bandera, and they have a, a larger selection as well. So you can definitely try that out. And see, I didn't spritz this one down when I put those lighter colors on I just kind of rubbed it in and so now I'm just going to go and spray it just a little bit to try and blend these colors in some more and no one's trying to steal anyone from anyone um I didn't know that it was a private affair that you were having with Mr. Holtz but now that I know I'll see what happens. <laughs> you can hit a sponge. This sponge, these sponges are wonder sponges, and they did come from Tuesday morning a while back. I got them when I lived in Mississippi. You are. That is definitely true. <laughs> so that is that, and I am. Uh, what street is that on? I don't know that street. I don't know the name of that street. I would have to actually look that one up to tell you. Um, you know what a big Walmart, the Walmart is on the corner where, what is it? Walmart and uh, down the street is a Target and a Ross. That's the one. It's right by that Target and Ross. So it's Dollar Tree, Ross, and then Target. It's across the street from that um, Bubble Tea Asian restaurant. I can't think of the name of the street, though. It goes into that um, H-E-B, the healthy H-E-B. Yes, Austin Highway. That's it. That's the one. Alrighty. So we're just going to take out our Mod Podge again. And I'm trying to seal these as I create them because if I don't, then they won't get sealed later on at all. Um, and I'm using sponges instead of blender brushes. You know, I had all notifications turned off. I don't know what in the world has happened. But I think that's the maintenance person calling me. Bye, Ruth. They have, more, in my opinion, they have more, talk to you later, Ruth. They have more um, 
crafting supplies. Like they have a lot more crafting items than the other one. But the one that I find is very, very nice. Do you know the one by um, Bills and Big Lots? It's off of Bandera too. Like if you go to that Joanne Fabric and you're coming up to get back on the 410 freeway, that one has like... Is huge. They have a lot of, of the newer things that you see people hauling on their uh, Dollar Tree haul videos. Super, super. Um, good finds in that one. Oh, yeah. See, I don't venture on your side of the world that much either. You know, I would love to go to Dollar Tree in Canada. I want to go to the Dollarama in Canada. Like, I wouldn't mind going there. But, nonetheless. That's why, you know, unfortunately, you can't get like two or three items from the Dollar Tree online. But, if I could, I would. I've bought things from the Dollar Tree.com in bulk. But I don't want to spend $25 for one thing. Well, they have... Not saying... Someone posted some crayons. <laughs> Double-sided markers. Um, I think they were alcohol markers for $2.99. Isn't that crazy? Girl. Mm -mm. I'm not going to Canada with you on no road trip. Mm-mm. We'd stop at every craft store. We wouldn't even have money to get into the deck on Canada Dollar Tree. We'd stop at every craft store on the way. <laughs> I can't do that. I'll meet you there and drive back. How about that? Because if we did a road trip, that would be... Mm -mm. That's with anybody. I'm not doing any road trips with anybody. The bling plans. Oh, that sucks. Are you talking about the pins with the jewel on there? I have, um, I haven't seen those. I've only seen them like in halls, but I'm not into writing pins that much. Yep, I'm not doing any road trips to anywhere with anyone. That's crafty. Not even a little bit crafty. Because, you know, where all that money would go, we wouldn't even make it out of like one whole state. I apologize for that. After this one, I am going to have to um, go because I think the repair people are trying to call me. I just didn't want to end the live stream abruptly like I did last time. But my phone had died. And now we've rectified that situation. I may be back tomorrow um, to do a birthday live stream. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to have cake tomorrow, y'all. Yep. And I will, um, I want to just show you what we've made. I really like these. These are cute little Mother's Day gifts, in my opinion. You can definitely give these to your mommies. Or um, your friend mommies. Or your aunt mommies. You know, anybody, really. And you can do the same thing with guy cards. So I'm going to try to find some um, masculine things that I have and do some masculine cards or something like that. Really, Elizabeth? Really? <laughs> Come on now. Why would you do that to me? So let's just go over what we've done. We've taken some Dollar Tree products, these canvases, stamped out with some great ink, Ranger Archival Ink. But any archival ink I think will work. If you only have black, then that's fine. You can always do some more coloring. Um, and this is what we've done. It's still drying, but we just stamped out these beautiful little stamped images. And wiping the peeps off first definitely works. Thank you, Isabel. I really appreciate that. Um, so that's the first one we did. Well, the last one we did together. 
We did this one as well. And I should have put a sentiment in the middle, but I wasn't thinking. Because Hello Gorgeous would have went perfect there. But you can always over stamp. Just because you've Mod Podge, it doesn't mean anything. And it's starting to just bow a little bit because it's a dollar. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is my first time ever doing this too. So if I could do it, you definitely can do it. Okay. And then, so this was the first one. The very first one I did today that inspired me to do the others. And I like this one the most, so I'll probably keep this for myself. And I like it not only because of the colors, because I use three different colors. You can barely see the green, but it is in there. Um, I like that I put this little quote in the middle of it. Um, this stamp that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> We'll see. Um, anyway, it says, be positive, be gracious, be thankful, be creative, be happy, be cheerful. And on that note, I want to tell you all, I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with me. It meant so much. Um, you could have been doing anything else, but you're here listening to me or coming in the comment section. So I appreciate that. And I will be doing a giveaway of one of these. I'm going to make some more. I'm going to make some smaller ones because I don't have any more of the big ones. I'll send you a blank canvas and I'll do something on there. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.